my opinion is this. If you're blackballed, right? Or I'll, I'll say it like this. People need to remember what it was like buying CDs in a fucking store, right? So if you walk into Target and the music section has the shelf out front that has the hottest albums and your CD's in there, that's great. But if your CD's not in there, it's just in the music section with everyone else, that doesn't mean you're blackballed. It just means you're not getting the promo that you think you should be getting. But keep in mind, you don't own Target. That's not our store. Spotify and Apple are stores. They're stores. They're just digital stores. But no, our music it. no, no, no. We being I... sold in those stores, Hold on, first of all, it's a privilege because if they wanted to blackball you, they would say, you can't do business at our store and kick you off and out of their store. Okay. You feel me? That's an easy, very, um, you know, um, totalitarian way of looking at it. Like, you know, but it's much more complex to um, these days when it comes to blackballing, right? It's not, they're not going to just kick you out of the store, right? But I, I, I'll give you a tactic. Okay, you're in the store, but you're not on the floor. So for someone to find your item, like we all know, if you go in Walmart, you go in Target, you go in Best Buy, I, w I would say, and I'm making up stats here, 97% of the sales happen from what you see on the showroom. You're rarely going to a salesperson and say, hey, do y'all have, have this quote, unquote item? That, and, and maybe they look it up in the computer and be like, oh, we do. It's not on the floor at all. But if we right. go in the back, we could get it for you. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Now, yeah, granted, no, but see, but where it's different is because it's digital, because guess what? You just type in the name of the artist you want to listen to, and you go to their shit and listen. And I would agree with you, except the majority of fans who listen to music don't do that. Like, you can't... You, it's no, no, but way see, you think that's that the other issue. We can't use that as some just generalization and blanket statement. It's not true. Listen, and, 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 I, and I've been in contact with, you know, some people at Apple Music and... um you know, obviously Spotify, because I want those stats. Again, I like to argue from a place of actually knowing stats, but I would argue, and I want everybody in here, if you're in a car riding for two hours, you listen to music. Granted, it's different if, you, if, you're, if you're actively listening, but most people passively listen to music. Let's be honest, right? So if you're actively, you might just be like, you're on the aux. But the, for the most part, you might select a song or two, but... Usually you either select the artist you like or the genre you like and you let it play. Not everyone's selecting every song they want to like it's a reason why like like this is the difference between music and like say the movies. Like I'm if I'm gonna watch a show or I'm gonna watch a movie say on Netflix, it's a fucking two hour thing that requires active attention. Mm -hmm. Music I consume is never active. I the, the only time I listen to music on an active level is when I'm on stream. Where I am sitting here listening to music. I listen to music while I'm in the shower. I'm washing my fucking balls. I, when I'm trying to cook. When I'm playing with my dog. When I'm fucking driving. I got shit to do. It's, it's something. It's like. It's, it's reason why like. You never hear about an elevator movie. You hear about elevator music. So like. It's something that's really done passively. And it's, it's kind of like. Inconceivable. To really think that. There is the majority. Or even a large majority of. Um. Um fans that are just sitting in a car or sitting with their earbuds on and they're selecting the, the majority of the songs. So it's not a matter of selecting individual songs. It's a matter of listeners create their own playlist. They take two songs off the new truth. This guy's album, two songs off this album too. And they create their own playlist, which is where for me, majority of my streams come from listeners own playlist and profile and my profile. And my response to all the people who say, well, no, because, you know, majority is editorial playlists and you need that. It's like, well, hold on. This is where it gets confusing for me. Yeah. If these people are as popping as y'all say they are, uh -huh. why is their music only going to perform well if it's in a playlist? Where are their real fans at who will just listen to them regardless? Which one is it? Okay. Do they have such a real fan base and they're so popping, or do they rely on majority passive listeners who only will listen if it's in a playlist? Which that, one is it? Which one is it? That's a great point. I love that point, by the way. And this is why, like you know, me knowing your history and and I've always I've, I'm always in tune with with like you know um your your opinions or your narrative about the industry or music at uh, as a whole. I feel like. 
and, and, and I have him to pick with um, me and you on Everyday Struggle. I feel like uh, Russ, who had a chip on his shoulder, who who probably wasn't as accomplished as you are now. You just were, young and immature, to be but honest. I felt you. I feel like you would feel the same way, though. And what I mean by this, you have carved out a lane, and you're right. Like, you know, I, 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 I just looked up the stats you tweeted out. Like, you actually showed your Spotify for artists. You don't rely on... on, on 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 algorithmic or even um, um editorial playlist as compared to some artists so you're speaking from the point of view where it's never helped you so so i know you're saying well what happened to y'all and y'all real fans but it's i could make the point to say that's why some of your songs which i enjoy probably don't go five to six time platinum I see when you post a plaque saying, yeah, it's it's a real accomplishment and you should of course be proud when it goes gold and it goes platinum but these songs could have been 10 times bigger Right. And obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to disagree. I'm not disagreeing with you that playlisting would make my songs bigger. What I have a hard time wrapping my head around is if these guys are so much bigger than me and if everybody, what are all the comments always? Who's Russ? We don't even know you. We haven't heard a song. OK, but the antithesis of that is that all these other guys, y'all do know and y'all do know these songs. So if that's the case, if they are so much bigger and more popping than me, meaning more fans, why do they need playlists if I don't? That doesn't make sense. Something's not adding up. Because the industry is built on playlisting. You know this no. is true. And and, no. and and let me ask you a question. Do you all right, compared to to, to, to the screenshot you put up, it showed three percent um editorial playlist. What percent plays do you think Drake gets? Just a spitball here. We obviously don't know the real number, but what, what percent do you think he gets? And and I I'm trying to say that I was I would say I would say twenty to thirty. No way. I would say yeah. nothing less than 40. Like, Drake is an artist that they're okay, super but, okay, serving but let's, to let's, people. Let's, like, do, let's go down that road if you want to, right? 40%. Mm -hmm. That is still not majority, and it's still not the 80 or the 90 or the, like, the numbers that have been getting tossed around. People are acting like if you don't get on editorial playlists, then how will my fans hear my music? It's like, I thought y'all had a shit ton of fans. Where are they at? Well, Where are they at? Where are your fans at? This is what's confusing to me. Because if all these dudes, supposedly bigger than me, more streams, da 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 da, da then why do they need playlists if I don't? If y'all are such bigger fans of them than fans of mine are of me, then why aren't y'all streaming their shit without playlists? Where y'all at? No, no. Well, I mean, even when we look at the baby now, right? I think, you know, and I've always said this. Th th there the baby was on the cover of Rap Caviar. I don't even know what that conversation is. That's crazy. Well, I think the, the baby's an enigma, number one. Like, you know, I, I've had a lot of conversations about his. It's an enigma. But, but here's the point I'm trying to say. I think you're, the way, the, way, the, the way you're approaching this conversation is probably because you've been slighted by many a times either fans or other people discussing your career in comparison to other, other artists who seemed bigger than you, you have more raw fit. Like, nigga, I've been to your show. Like, most of these niggas, including the baby, like, wouldn't come to New York City, wouldn't go to the forum and do half of what you do. So you get what I mean? Like, again, you remember why I came to your first show. But I thought they had more fans, so why not? Yeah, but you know, What's... you know, you see, you see, you see, you see I, you're playing like this interesting game because you're right. You're 100% right. However, no, it's not a game. It's just if they have more fans, why aren't their shows bigger? I'll yeah, but but the industry was never really built on people really having raw fans. It was always built on, hey, listen, this is McDonald's. We serve you what you get, and you guys consume what we give you. It's never like most of these guys, they're products of algorithms, and maybe not completely, but they're the it's the fluff. It's the reason why you decided to say I could get off of a streamer, I could get off of a record label, because y'all don't do shit for me, right? And and you probably realize it's much more lucrative because shit from way back to your tune core days to even what you do now, you could still run up a song to gold or platinum without it. They weren't doing too much um um for you. Right now, that's not right. the, the, now you have to acknowledge the truth though. That's not the reality for every other artist. Now, kudos to you. We'll clap it up. But that's not the reality for most other artists. Most other artists, without their label, without the fluff, without the millions of marketing dollars, without those looks, without all the collabs, without all these things that are adding up to make these numbers that seem impressive because, like, you know the game is a facade. The game is a facade. And if 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 half of the people could do what you do, they wouldn't sign either. <laughs> but so, so 
But so now what you're saying, and I agree with you, now what you're saying is people are getting mad that the facade is no longer being upheld. People are getting mad that the fluff, a.k.a. the passive listening to make the shit look bigger than it is, where's my fluff at? Y'all didn't give me the fluff on this release. Now it's gonna. Now you're going to expose how many real fans I actually have. That's what it sounds like. But why is it only for the niggas who get into controversy, not every other rapper? By the way, that's a little boom. By the way, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. You know what I mean? No, okay, okay. That's a good point. Well, I'll tell you exactly why. I'll tell you exactly why. I'll tell you exactly why. Spotify and Apple are billion-dollar companies, right? Number one, that none of us own. Number one. Number two, brand alignment is a real thing. That is true. I, I know this, and I think everyone in here is lying. If they say they're going to risk fucking their brand up on behalf of a stranger. Okay, okay, okay. But Russ, what about the niggas who are actually killing niggas in our own playlist? Okay. See, that's where we get into, right? So there's obviously, it's very hypocritical. And by the way, I'm not the person who's over here. I'm not trying to be Martin Luther King for artists. when When you get into, oh, what their lyrics are about. That's starting to sound like the same people who are mad that the court systems and the judge and all that are using lyrics against rappers. So you can't then be like, well, if y'all are going to not stand next to DaBaby and Tori, you got to not stand next to the dudes who are talking about killing in their songs. It's like, wait a second. No, I thought y'all wanted the lyrics off limits. No, no. Which I, one hold is on, it? hold on. All right. I, I'm, I'm making a bigger point. And, and, and I think I'm piggybacking off brand of... alignment. They're just, they're taking a neutral stance because no, no, it's no, no, safe. No. That's what anyone would do. No, Russ. Okay. I'm, I'm piggybacking off even what Boom said. You, I'm not here trying to be Martin Luther King like, yo, no, let, let's ride for these few artists. I look at it in the bigger picture. And in the bigger picture, when I do look at it, is that all of these companies, which are DSPs, and I know, you, I know you're just saying that they're stores, but they're much more than stores. You know what I mean? Like, essentially, of they have almost just as much power, if not more, even compared to these record labels. These record labels don't do shit more than administrative work. They're doing what they basically tried to do when they took X off playlist, when they were trying to take a select group of artists who we all know these are guys who, like, for example, X, right? You know, I'm not here to negotiate his case or talk about the case that he had. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, X, right? But he came in the music industry with that situation that was still pending. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like we can't have these streaming services be the arbiter, right? Of And really, it, it's not even like the, the, they're waiting for, like, a court decision. They're playing it. They try to get. They try to do a blanket law. That didn't work. Now they're just picking and choosing. Me, I, I, I'm always saying, like, yo, give me the rule and I'll follow it. But they made the rule. They repealed it because Kendrick said some shit. But now, you know what they do? They wait till you're unliked. And it could happen to anyone because we see how of fickle course. fans are. You were unliked for, for a long time. And then I think people have just realized you're just not going anywhere. They fuck with you now, I believe, for the majority. Okay? No, but people, like, li- listen, listen. I hear what you're saying. You want a clear line in the sand to be drawn. And if I cross the line, then that's on me. And now take me off the playlist. And also acknowledge the reality is that. And acknowledgement too. Because everybody's yeah, playing but no, but this is This is what I'm saying. This is all like you're expecting a company you don't own to like explain to you why they don't want to align their brand with something that isn't safe. One, they don't have to explain shit. Two, it's glaringly obvious what's happening. Wait, wait, right. hold on. I'm glad you said that because that's also not completely accurate what you're saying, right? Because it's not the company making a decision. It's individuals making a decision. There are individuals that run these playlists. There's individuals that are in charge of these music departments. So I I, I know people are yeah, thinking but that. Hold, but hold on. Do you think it's. Now, <laughs> now granted, they might be making decisions right, that they feel that. is in the you best think, interest of the company. In the playlist room or you think it's higher up? Say again? I said you're smarter than that. You think it's the individuals in the playlist room or you think it's the higher up? Come on. Um, I think most of them are trying to it's make... It's the higher-ups, dog. It's the people not who always. are really calling the shots. Not always. Not always. I think I think Ebro is is, is is abusing his power. I think if you don't like Ebro, fuck all that other shit that might be going against you. He just won't play this shit. That's just what it is. I've heard actual yeah, well, industry... Okay, but this is my thing, though. This is my thing. This is what I'm saying. People are still going with the blackballing shit. Yeah. 
these playlists are opinion based playlists. They're not numbers based playlists. I've had numbers. No, al- algor- that were doing algorithmic more is, is, than is X, Y, and Z plays. song in Rap Caviar. And it didn't go in. Why? Because the people at Rap Caviar didn't like the song. And that doesn't get me mad because guess what? That's their fucking prerogative. It's a company I don't own and it's opinion based playlists. W- w- if you think about algorithmic? That this is somebody off and they have something that you need, it's entitled to think, I don't care if I pissed you off, give it to me anyway because I deserve it. That's childish, immature, egotistical, and insane. Okay, you know so, what I mean? It's like no, no, it's no, crazy. I, I agree. I agree with the, uh, the to a certain extent. If you're not being biased and and whatever, whatever, you know, I think it should be open and should be at least transparent. But what about algorithmic playlists? Okay, so an artist drops an artist who clearly an artist who's heavily consumed on whatever platform. They're not. They're edited out of algorithm. Like these, you know, New Music Friday. You know when when you go to Apple Music on Friday and you click on their new music category or Spotify, that's not a guy that's just sitting fucking eating Cheetos and picking out his For favorite sure. new music. They're putting it, it's pretty much algorithmic. They know what's what's being I know, submitted. This, but yeah, but this is my point. Not every single one of my songs gets a new music Friday. When it doesn't get in new music Friday, have y'all ever seen me come online and say I'm blackballed? Wait, wait, wait. It's insanity. Hold it's on, an on. overreaction. What's the percentage? You're complaining about promo what's the perc- hold on, that Russ. you're not privileged, that you're not guaranteed. It's like, what's the percentage? What's the percentage? And and then also, are you submitting these? What's the percentage of what? What's the percentage of when you submit a song, obviously three weeks before, like all, all because they do have guidelines, right? If you submit a song, what's the per- percentage of the songs that you submit that get on New Music Friday? I Honestly, dog, I feel like it's minority of the time. Stop for real. It. I'm rarely in New Music Friday. Stop. Someone pull the stats up if you can, if you remember seeing me in it on every release, but I'm not in New Music Friday like that. I'm not in these big ass playlists. And it's not because I'm blackballed. It's because it's a bunch of human beings with an opinion. No. And yeah, listen, these are these are human beings. If you get in a room with them and you piss them off and you say something or whatever, you have relations with someone that they fuck with, whatever it is. This is what this is what's gonna happen. Is the consequences of your actions. At the end of the day, if if my t shirt back in the day or things I've tweeted piss certain people off, and you know the industry is musical chairs and the dude who worked at Interscope, well now he's at Spotify and now he controls the the rap playlisting and he's one of the guys that I pissed off. I'm SOL. That's but, too bad for me. But that's you do know the, you're changing. I, that's the consequences of my actions. But you do know you're changing. You're changing your stance a little bit, right? You, you no, first, I'm not. no, you it's first started opinion. to say if if the company. You started saying the company. Now you're talking about individuals. That's why I always even said when I was going at Ebro, I'm saying because he tried to make a weak point. He was like, "Well, you're blackballing." I'm talking no because I'm talking about I'm talking about with Tori and the baby, right? That I believe is coming from higher up. That I don't think is individuals. I'm saying on a on a smaller scale, I don't have any pending cases, right? I'm saying on a smaller petty scale, if I tweeted something that pissed one of the playlist curators off, if they don't put me in the playlist now because I was a dick to them in the past, I mean, that's my fault. That's too bad. Well, I can't I, sit here and say I'm blackballed. No, my music is still being sold at the store. My fans can still access my music. My fans can still stream it. Spotify still pays me. I cannot say I'm being blackballed by a company that's still paying me. That doesn't even make any sense. I can say I'm not being promoted like I think I should be, well, but well, I cannot well, say I'm being blackballed. Th- that's I just think the word is being just used incorrectly. It's not blackballed. It's, you're just not being favored. No, well, think, well, that's interchangeable, though. So, so I, I use the YouTube example, right? So like you know, and I think most people can relate to that because most people can't relate to artists, right? And 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 they're looking at these platforms that music is coming through as they, they don't even know how to even process it, right? So I said, okay, I'm a YouTuber, right? The majority of the views I get, if I wasn't in, if I didn't fall in favor with the algorithm, or if for whatever reason somebody at YouTube said I pissed someone off, they fucking lowered me on the threshold of the list of people who the algorithm would favor. Mm-hmm. My views would drop significantly. Or if they took me out of it all, it would drop by 50 to 60%. Sucks. At that point, <laughs> no, but I call that blackballing. That That's is bla- but- that is modern day technological black. Like I, no, I think you're no, using no, no, an no, no, antiquated no, no. That, version of blackballing that that really nobody will ever be qualified for blackballing because you technically have the internet and you have potential access to your fans but if if in reality 99 percent of music is being consumed 
through these stores or what, what you call the stores, and those things are ran by algorithms. If the algorithms is That's then not fucked true, with, but see that part, how's what you true? just said right there, is a blanket statement that does not apply to everyone. You can't say these are run by the algorithms because what this is why I think it's a dangerous narrative for artists because I'm trying to empower artists and make them aware that it's about the fans and it's about the song. What you're saying is you're making it seem like algorithms can stop a hit from being a hit. That's not yes, true. Yes, it can. That's just simply not Yo, true. it's like, it's like, you it's like, it's need algorithms. and algorithmic and all this shit to catch a hit. Handsomer went platinum in eight months. Did you see it in Rap Caviar? I didn't. I'm not saying you, you needed to. For, well, first of all, we wouldn't call it a giant, uh, a gigantic hit if it's just you know, gold. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you want to call it. A platinum song in eight months. Go look up how many songs came out this year and went platinum this year. How many? Well, it would be at least five times platinum if it was all, if it was supported by. I'm artists. not talking about a massive fucking global number one. I'm saying how many songs came out this year and went platinum within eight months. I don't know if the you have a stat. long list of them, then it should be pretty easy to come up with some. But if it's not, then doing platinum in eight months is something that's worth noting. Like, okay. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. And the fact that it wasn't and didn't rely on algorithms is proving the point that catching songs that go platinum is not about algorithms. It's about having fans who listen to your music consistently. That's it. And that's why you're the exception to the rule. Because, th again, you can't... All right. You see, you're you're pulling out these one-on-one -on -one examples. You name me three other niggas who 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 may be in the same situation as you. That's not relying on the algorithms because the whole that's industry the, is no. But see, but listen, but because I'm able to do it, it means it's possible. So to completely ignore the exception, it don't make the rule. Like the only alternative is no. In order to be successful and catch a platinum song, you need algorithms. You just can't say that because I exist. That's exactly Hold what on. I'm trying to say is that because I exist. It disproves everything you're saying because you no, don't need algorithms in editorial to catch a platinum song in eight months. No, no. Now, no, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me respond to that directly because our, even if we use a Tory example, like I threw up his stats on there, the color violet, he has 80, 84, 85 million uh, um, streams on. And by the way, I uh, talked to Tory on the phone to yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> during the middle of all this. Okay. And like, and, and, and the, I agree with points he made. He agreed with points I made. So there's not this like, I'm coming at Tory. No, and, and by the way, I don't think Tory. Like, people I, are so ridiculous. No, I don't think Tory's position is that like, oh, he's just blackballed. Like, no, it's 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 a position that no, I'm noticing. No, that's not how he feels. Yeah, yeah, that's not his position. It's a position that I'm taking because I'm realizing a trend. And I remember I first saw it when it happened in 6 9 but he's the worst example of anybody to ever defend, right? So I, I sat back and I said, okay, this is a valid point to be raised, but the worst example to bring it up against because you're going to be laughed out of the building, right? And I sat back and I watched other artists, like, you know, kind of fall into, okay, well, now you're unfavored by whatever, not only editorially, but also algorithmically. And by the way, I, I, was I don't, I don't, I don't want to cut you off, but this is a super important Point. So Lil Boom saying Russ is a unicorn, not everyone's going to be like, bro, that's not a good argument, at least fan-wise. What I'm trying to say, though, is that because I exist, you have to at least acknowledge that it's possible. And you can't completely just say that Anything it's is impossible. Possible. Okay, okay. A, successful career a nigga just won the lottery. The that's possible, and all this shit. A nigga just won the lottery. You? That's possible, but it, it don't mean it's probable. Like Russ, you I didn't say it's probable. I said it's possible. Oh. And so the posturing of, oh, you need algorithms, and if you don't give but, me my playlist, how could I ever be successful? That shit is insane. That's but the like, percentage of the possibility is like super low, bro. You like rare. Like the the fans you have versus these rap niggas, bro. You know it's like night and day. These niggas ain't selling like. Three thousand, let alone fifteen thousand. So it's like night. It's like night and day compared well, but to. You I'm yeah, but see, this is when shit starts to confuse me, right? This is when I start getting confused. I thought all these dudes are bigger than me. Which one is it? Which um, one is it? I got you. I got you. I got you. I would I say more you. popular. I wouldn't say bigger though. The, the, I would say that they're more relevant to the culture, and I think that's where a lot of like times that you get you get a bad rap or a bad like people don't understand your point of view, and maybe you don't really. Uh, accept other people's point of view on that, because like, no, I accept, I accept and agree with that point of view. However, okay. now, quick, I don't. Quick, before you, 
I have a go question. Ahead. Yeah, finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have a question as somebody else who does like I do all my music myself and stuff like that. So when when you say these things, would you agree that you did benefit from the same system that these other artists that you tend to, for lack of a better term, shit on or critique? Because not system? many people from within the culture knew about you until your situation with Columbia, if I'm not mistaken, it was Columbia. Okay, uh, so, so, so I guess he's trying you're to say like people didn't know about me until Columbia. Mo most people within the culture didn't know about you until you had that song with the purple video. Great song, by the way. Thank you. That was before Columbia. I put that out before. Columbia. Okay, but but didn't didn't they work that song after you got into a situation with Columbia? They went good. gold before I was. No, like, no, they didn't do shit. That well, shit was. Wait, wait, Russ, that's you a great point. Me? And maybe I could re rephrase what he's saying. So, essentially. You're in a great position where, like, you know, I always tell a new artist these days, you know, the shit's ran by, like, these DSPs. I want to tell you I don't go and sign a, a record deal, but I'd be lying if I if I was telling you, like, oh, no, just keep submitting songs to, like, Spotify and, and they're going to No, gonna but y'all couldn't, couldn't right? answer my question, man. Y'all no, just dodged no, the no, question. No, 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 I'm not there, I'm not there. Y'all dodged the question. No, no, these look, I got to answer, but I'm no, going to no, 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 no. Wait, wait, I'm wait, 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 I'm not there yet. The point where I think Kyrie was making just now is that when the same fluff, which it is a fluff, you're right. You're completely right. It's a fluff. It's a facade whatever. The same fluff that you're basically looking at other artists and saying, why y'all mad y'all don't got that? You did get the industry fluff. And and again, obviously we're talking playlists, so you might be like, oh, no, that's different. For, but essentially, if a nigga sound like, what, what does a label do these days? Like, every, if you talk to every indep independent artist, they want to, Get really no, playlist. This is no, but you can't see. But this is what I'm saying. This is where y'all got to pick a side of the fence. You can't say, Russ, you got the industry fluff. Russ, the industry fucks with you. And then in the same breath, say, We don't know who you are. We've never heard a song. No, Which Russ. One is no, it? Because Russ, if the industry Russ, loves Russ, me Russ. and fucks with me, y'all would know. Russ, but if you don't, know, right now, and you haven't heard shit, no, then think, the industry the didn't industry, give you the fluff. I think no, no. Just having a situation with Columbia gave you validity to even no. speak the way you speak because nobody really knew about your character. Yo, yo, Kyrie. Columbia didn't give me validity to speak. I, I speak, I speak regardless. Yo, 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 Kyrie, 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 real quick, real quick. Yo, Kyrie, real quick. I think Russ is arguing with fans in the comment section and talking to us. Russ, yeah. talk to me. I would. I know you're bigger than most of these artists that do way more numbers than you. I know it. I know this as a fact. I came to your concert, my nigga. We're not talking to someone like, granted, yes, numbers do exist and fans perceive them, but we also got to talk about why do numbers exist. Numbers have existed all the way back from once they became public. Even think about it, RIAA. It's always been a part of brainwashing fans, right? So, yes, I know without all the extra BS, you have more supporters that not only would listen to your music, go out of their way to listen, but they'll put down their hard-earned buck to pay for your shit. So I'm not the person who's saying, no, oh, I believe this guy's bigger than you. No, that's not me. So remove that from, from, from how you're, you're, you're framing the discussion. We know how you are. I'm just saying that's the reality of the industry. You're a one of one. The, you, well, there's a few other people like you, but it's not. It's very rare. Trust me, a lot of people want to be like you. So think about that, and then then you can respond however you want to. Because I'm I don't. Still I don't say you're with the fact that because I exist, it's showing what's possible. Okay. So okay. Me, I'm a, no, but hold on. Let me finish. But let me finish. To ignore. To ignore something that's clearly possible just because you're like, yeah, but that's really hard to do. It's like, fine, that's fair. But you can't sit and act like it's not possible and as if I'm the only one that could do it. You would be, you know, act, you said something earlier like, oh, these guys wouldn't be able to do what you're doing if they didn't have a label. I tend to disagree with you. I think that's what I'm about. I think these artists have more power than they realize. You don't need an A&R to get you a collab anymore. These dudes can DM each other, yo, here's the beat that text each other, whatever, boom, shoot the video, whatever, right? It's you don't like these dudes would be better off indie, a lot of them, a lot of them. And you would be surprised how well they'd be able to survive. And I think they'd be surprised. Russ, and this is the I, Stockholm syndrome I'd be talking about where you get with the label and you think that you don't know how to survive without them, forgetting 
that being a popping independent artist was a prerequisite to even get signed in the first place. So you've already done it. Question, question, uh, question, uh, Russ. Russ, Russ oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Kyrie. Hold on. Hold on. I, I'm going to tell you why I disagree. And this is why, you're again, you differ from the majority of even a lot of these hip-hop artists who do sign. Again, knowing you and knowing your crowd, like, let, let me ask you a question. You know, granted, if we're comparing sales and all these other things and hit singles and third, I remember when I came to your show, I was I was flabbergasted. I was like, fuck, there's like 75, 8,500 people here at, at, at the Garden. And you think, name any nigga right now who got like a popping song. Like, any nigga who just caught two, three songs who ain't rapping about shit, who ain't rapping about nothing, you think they're going to retain those fans enough to not only listen to their song, like, maybe in their crib, in their car, at the club, but actually show up to another state, get dressed, go with their girl, buy tickets, and go to their show? Bro, that's not going to okay, happen. Okay, so let no. me ask you this question, then. What do you think the focus should be on? Continuing to gather fluff fans from playlists, or should the focus be on building a core audience? I agree with you. It, it should always be that. It should always okay. be that. But <laughs> some of these niggas' music ain't built for that. A lot of these niggas are making music that are microwavable it's for the moment. Now, but listen, like we're talking yeah, that's about that's, that's building, building the thinking. Discord communities, there's shit you do. There's shit that I've done outside the music that has people coming to the shows. It's because I'm fucking doing stuff outside the music. I'm talking, I'm trying to give game. I'm helping with self-help shit. I wrote a book. I'm doing, like, it's not just people are coming to just hear the songs. They're coming because they fuck with me. And so my whole thing is like, this narrative is making artists feel like that they need to continue to buy into the fluff. And that's what they should focus on, getting the fluff, getting the playlist. No, what people need to focus on is getting real fans and building up a core audience. Well, Russ, oh, not okay. everybody has a luxury like you, though. Like, you know, you know. which, by the way, and when I say luxury, I don't mean it that you never went through, you didn't go through the ringer because you had to figure shit out, but also you were more, uh, uh, you adapted to how the industry was and you figured out a lot of hacks really quickly to get by and also, like, to get up. Some of these dudes, they're coming from environments, and also not to not to like you know you know disrespect their IQ level or whatever. They're they're just making music in their environment. They really don't know how to like. You're talking higher level shit. You know what I mean? Like this is the same shit you're talking about. This is why you got off of, of a label. Because when I talk to the digital niggas, right, they tell me, "Yo, the new thing now is is discourse. Everybody's getting discourse. Yo, how can we get discourse for artists? Because this is gonna be the best way to promote them, nigga. You're on that. The rapper who just blew up." Couple months ago, got the hot song. He just he been broke his whole life. You know what I mean? Or let's not even make it that extreme. The majority of rappers, they don't even know how to cultivate. Uh, they don't even know how to cultivate a a um a fan base because these days we're going we're going through TikTok eras. Look at Ice Spice. Ice Spice is one day she's looking goofy, the next day she's twerking all uh, uh, rolling loud. You know what I mean? So does she has even the time to slow down? To be like, yo, hey, in between shows, traveling from here and there, oh, you, you should probably, this ain't going to last forever. And this whole munch thing is going, it's, this clock is ticking. She won't even know. You have the luxury of the type of music you made. It was a slow build. You didn't have an exponential, like, just shoot out the gate where now you're on a clock where people are waiting for you to do something. So it's a little bit different. So, again, not knocking either method, what I'm kind of saying is, like, you have to understand that the industry fluff is there for a reason. Like, not everybody could go do this independent shit. Not everybody could do what you did. It's phenomenal, and I love it. You didn't it. say everybody, but you're saying that no one else could do it. 